Hey, it's Nick Lounge back again today. Today with Peppermint OS 4. Yes, 4, 4, 4, 4. Number 4. The fourth Peppermint. It's in the hood, man. It's around. It's a distro based on Ubuntu. uses LXD as its desktop environment, but it's based for stuff in the cloud and on your desktop. Any which way you want, really. There's lots of stuff to learn about it. But this time I've been using it for a day, almost a day now, and it's working really fine. I've had no problems. Well, that one, but that was my own fault, so we'll go from there. And as you can see, on the desktop, I've actually downloaded Google Chrome. You know, well, yeah, I have just to get, get in the hood, man, you know, and just make sure it worked. Because when I first um, installed 1304 on a machine, you couldn't actually install Google Chrome. So that was really early in the day. And now we're in June, nearly July. Okay. On our bottom bar, we're going to go for it really slowly. Okay. We have, you know, go away. We have time and date. We have our sound. We have Ethernet connection and two desktops. Remember, you can have as many desktops as you like. Then you go swish. Have yourself side. We have our menu. Right. I'm going to show you what we get, which is not a lot. Remember, the distro is under 600 megabytes to download. So it's nice and small, goes on a CD still. Remember, it's LXDA, so even though it's first based in the cloud, you might want to use it on your older stuff. It's, it's Lubuntu ish, shall we say. Okay, accessories we get archive manager, calculator. Up, yeah. Calculator. Okay, calculator's there. Character map, this file manager PC man FM, which is your file manager of choice. File search, screenshot, terminal. Ah, so, screenshot, what was there? Yeah, might, we might as well while we're here, might we? So we just say shoot. Yeah, I'll move to the screenshot. Save as. Yeah, we'll save it as donkey. Mm. No, we'll just call it donk. That'd be easy. It? And we'll save it in pictures. We'll go save. And it's now saved in now. We're going to close it. Anyway, shoot some calculator. You might as well do. No. But as you can see, when you move the window, it yeah, goes so nice and dark a little bit. It's like it goes translucent, sort of. So we're going to keep calculator open. I'm going to open some more stuff. Okay. Anyway, <clears throat> there is some games here. There's five games now. The Chess, Entanglement, First Person, Tetris, Mahjong, and Solitaire. Under graphics, we get the PDF viewer, of course. Pixlr, Pixlr, Image Viewer, and Simple Scan to get your scanning going. It's all there by default. Most scanners should work. If it's really, really, really old, it should still work. If it's really, really, really new, it should work. No problem. Under Internet, okay, yeah, BitTorrent, you get BitTorrent client. Chrome is your desktop browser of choice. Okay, that's fine. But I did install Google Chrome, same thing, but that other stuff, as you know. Dropbox as standard. Ice for desktop integration for web apps. So if you click on ICE, for instance, you just put in the URL here and the name you want to sell on a desktop and it'll just give a quick link to say Facebook or whatever you want to do, you know, or Google Plus or, you know, whatever you want to go to, whatever you use really quickly. This is really ideal on an old machine because you just don't want to hang around going to the menu and waiting for it to do stuff. I have tested this on a sub one gig processor. It works okay. It's all right, no problem, yeah. No big deal, man. Okay. Under Office. We don't know already. Document Viewer. Gmail. You know, because it's all cloud-based. If you want Chunderbird or stuff like that or whatever, you have to install it yourself. Google Calendar is here and Google Drive is here. So if you've got all that installed, it's no deal. So if you've got a netbook, an older netbook, say maybe 10 years old, it will run fine. You know, it won't be super fast. Well, it will be, but it just won't be as slow as the newer stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Under sound and video, now I've installed a Sunder because I like the control of what I'm ripping. Okay, not as much control as doing a terminal. If you want terminal stuff, you want to know how to rip stuff terminally wise, go and see GoBlue 2 or GoBlue 2. Yeah, it will do your stuff and then we'll show you how to do it in the terminal. And yeah, yeah, it's up to you. Terminal, GUI. Terminal, GUI. It's up to you. Under my preferences, under encoding, I've got to go to flag. It won't do MP3s because I have to install Lame. Now, do you want to install Lame? Yeah, you could. Uh, should I go and do it? Yeah, I might as well. Uh, well, I'm here. So, anyway, under the video, also you get a media, also a media player. Your music player is Guadalquivir. Yeah, one of my very, very favourites. Guadalquivir is here for you to use. It's nice. It's super duper. Yeah, I like it. Nice. Anyway, system tools. 
GW package installers here for when you're getting stuff like Chromium or Chrome, or sorry, Chrome to install for you. Yeah. So, and a Synaptic. Okay. I want lame, don't I? So, instead of going to the software manager, I'm just going to do it through Synaptics. It's easier for me. Or you could do it through Terminal. Okay. So, I'll put my password in. Dun, dun, dun. That's some stuff. Should I make it a little bigger? Yeah, make it a little bigger. Oh, golly. Yeah, no, we'll stick. Make it a little bigger. And so, put in search and I'll put in lame. And that's what I need to do for my empath fares. There are other programs out there, but Lame will do it for you. As you can see, Synaptic is doing its thinking stuff. It's searching all the repositories. And we scroll down, we scroll down. Oh, there it is, Lame. MP3 encoding library. It explains it all for you here. It's the front end. So nice. Mark for installation. That's nice for me. I'm going to apply that. It's a couple of kilobytes of stuff it needs. Let it do its stuff. I'll have a bit of drinkage while it's doing it. Uh, 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 uh. There you go. Nearly all done. There's some sums here, but I'm thinking that. Yeah, nine percent of twenty five point equals. Oh, that's a big number. I like that big numbers. Oh, well I've done it. It's installed. Nice. You just let Synaptic reload. 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 I've been using it for, uh, as I said, a bad day. It's a little bit quicker than the last one. The last one I was quite impressed with, to be honest with you. This one has just improved on it really slightly. So there's no reason not to use it anymore. There's no big downers, if you know what I mean. Anyway, where was I? Send a video, Sunday. Okay. Go to preferences, go to encode. I can now encode in MP3. And for, for me personally, if I, I was doing lossy, lossy compression, I would whack up to 320. If you don't want to do that, use OG or FLAC. Personally, I prefer FLAC myself, okay? But I'm going to untick that just in case I use a bit more in a bit later. Yeah, nice, okay. Also, okay, what else we go for? Under preferences, do you Bluetooth that? It's all LXD, as you can see what I'm saying. It's all LXD, that's what it says on the tin. Under system tools, that's what it says on the tin. I'll go to task manager for you so you can quickly see it. As you can see, Low RAM usage, CPU's not doing anything at all. No, not at all. It's a dual core machine, this one. Yeah. Oh, yes, real one, yeah. Real, yeah, real, real, real. Now, what's I want to find for you? I can't find it now. It's all gone. It's gone. It's gone. Oh, no. I want to show you something. Oh, bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, here we are. Under internet, we get the online user guide and the peppermint forums. So, if we go to the online user guide, Let's open that for you. I'll have another drink before we're doing it. Uh, as you can see, nice big screen. I'm going to make it bigger for you so you can see loads, baby. Loads, loads. Oh, big, big. And there we are. So, under the Peppermint official Peppermint user guide, it shows you how to download and install an intro to the desktop, customizing. So, if we go to chapter one, so you can just see what's going down, it tells you all much about it, really. It says if you get the 32 bit, it's only native support for 3 gig, okay? Yeah, but it can support if necessary, yeah. You know what I'm, you know what I'm, saying, yeah, you know what I'm saying. But 32 bit will run on old machines. So if you've got a machine like 10 year old, it will run it. No problem at all. Right, 64 bit is okay, but I'm having real big problems with 64 bit diff trays at the moment. Especially, well, I'm not going to actually tell you what they are. I'm going to talk to the guys that make them first. But yeah, hmm. Yeah, you know I'm saying. Fiscal address, blah 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 blah. We'll go to section two, we scroll down, it tells you all about it. Just go and have a look at it and it will tell you all about it and what you need to do. Chapter two, an intro to the desktop. It tells you all about it. It's LXDE, man. Nice, clean, simple, does what it says on the tin. Right, enough of that. Peppermint OS4. Nice, they made some good upgrades. It's not a, a, a groundbreaking new, new, new thing, but that's not what we expect, is it, really? We want something that gets better slowly and surely. Okay, I'll put Google Chrome on. A lot of people would do. This would be ideal for your nan and granddad. You just put the desk things up here on the desktop. So if I show you how to do that. I go to the menu. So we go to internet. We want to put uh, Chromium on desktop. We right click there. Add to desktop. 55321. And it's there for you. You know what I'm saying? All done. And basically what all you do. It's just put all the stuff they want on the desktop. 
So I done a lady the other day, she's 69 years old. She had a Windows Vista machine that was going uh, bristles up basically. I gave her Alexi actually, I gave her Ubuntu because Pitman OS 4 went out. And basically all the stuff that she uses would be a web browser, LibreOffice, and that was it. If it was on a desktop, you know what? She's happy as pie and mash on West Ham's FA Cup day. <sighs> nice. Anyway, Pitman OS 4 been really really nice to use I can't see any problems with it whatsoever go and give it a go it's CD size so you should have something you have to burn nice put an old machine nice how much I'm gonna give it you know what I'm gonna give Peppermint OS 4 96% because it's been so trouble free and easy to use nicey nicey sneaky Linux gang out see you later bye bye